What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an extension from Polygon that helps you import their assets and materials into SketchUp for rendering in V-Ray. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we've talked about Polygon before, but it's basically an asset library um, that allows you to download textures, models, and HDRI images for use in your models. And so um, it's kind of built as kind of a bigger asset library. So it's not like necessarily targeted at SketchUp as much as just like 3D assets in general, right? So like a lot of these assets, for example, like this sofa, if you click on it, you can select different softwares and download it in different versions. And they've started adding SketchUp files for all of their models. Note that they have both free and paid assets in here um, and they work under a credit system. So you can either buy a certain number of credits or um, if you look under credits and you look for free you can see all of the free materials that you can download and use in your models as well um, and these come with all the different maps right so if I look at this terrazzo right it's going to come with like your ambient occlusion your diffuse map it's going to come with your displacement all those different maps that make your materials actually look realistic um, are going to come in with these materials so same with the models right if you click on these models and you take a look at them um, a lot of them are actually going to come in with different texture resolutions in here depending on which you select not all of them are like that some of them are only 8k or only whatever but you can download these and specifically we're going to focus on the the way that you can download the sketchup files and bring them in and so you can actually get into this article, which is a detailed article talking through how to use the Polygon extension. And um, you can get to that just by going to polygon.com slash SketchUp. But basically what this does is this is gonna link you to the extension, which you can then download and install. So one of the things that's interesting to me, and it's kind of something about the SketchUp ecosystem, um, I guess when I think about it, is right now they have focused on importing this for V-Ray. I think V-Ray probably has a large amount of the market share. I don't want to say that it has the largest, but a large amount of the market share for rendering using SketchUp. So right now this extension is specifically set up to download and set up these, uh, these models and also these materials for use for rendering rendering in V-Ray. But basically what this tool is going to do is it's going to give you a button that you can click and then you can go find the downloaded files that you've brought down and you can do an import. And what it's going to do is it's going to automatically set up the different materials and maps, both for the material files and the model files inside of SketchUp. And so what we want to do is we want to jump over into SketchUp and take a look at the way that this works. But first, what you might want to do is download a model file or a material file. So all of these are available for free, so you can just download them to give it a try um, that we can bring in. So I've downloaded like this lamp as well as a bunch of different materials like the bricks, um, the uh, mosaic tile, other things like that. But let's jump over into SketchUp real quick. And so the way that this works, and I've got just kind of like a little studio set up in here. I didn't spend a ton of time on it. Um, but let's say that we want to bring in one of those polygon models. Well, what you're going to do is once you've installed and enabled the Polygon extension, which you can download from that page that I showed you before, what it's going to do is it's going to pop up this little button right here. All this is going to do is open up a file window. All this is going to do is open up a file window where you can go find those models and bring them in. So for example, if I go into the models folder, notice how I've downloaded a couple different models, right? And so for example, I've downloaded this plant file, this lantern file, and the way this works is all you have to do is go into the folder where the model files live, right? So I'm just going to double click in here and I did extract those so that they're not in a zip file, they're actually in a model file. But what you want to do is you want to go find the SketchUp model that's in that folder, right? So in this case, the plant banjo fig model right here. Well, what's gonna happen is you're gonna select that model and we're gonna click on open. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna bring that model into SketchUp and you can actually move your mouse and place it just by clicking just like this. And so the cool thing about this is when this brings this in, it's going to bring in a model file that you can see in SketchUp. But what it's also going to do is it's also going to create that as an object in V-Ray. And so if I click into my V-Ray asset editor and scroll down, I can see that what this did is this automatically generated the materials associated with this model as V-Ray materials, right? So if I click in this, right, and I click over to the right-hand side, you can 
can see that it went ahead and it loaded in things like your bump map. So if you look in here, or technically it's a normal map in this case, but if you look in here, it automatically set up the materials for this model. And if I click in here, notice how it's going to show you that it automatically found that normal map and it loaded it up and linked it up. All right, and so if we take a look at this, and I'm just gonna kind of scroll around it, right here, but you can see how this uh, plant was brought in and notice how it's already got the reflections coming off of it, everything like that. So this plant is basically set up. So all we had to do was just quickly use this importer in order to bring this in. And so we could do the same thing with, uh, let's go with like this exterior lantern, right? Let's go find the SketchUp file, double click and bring it in. And we'll go ahead and we'll kind of move it up a little bit so that it's sitting in our scene a little bit more. And I'm gonna toggle this off and back on just so it kind of refreshes the geometry in here. But again, notice how this gets brought in and everything about this model is set up and ready to render. So you can use this in order to really quickly import these library objects into SketchUp and then render them in V-Ray. And so let's take a look at the same thing with materials. So specifically what I wanna do is I wanna click in here, but this time I'm gonna open up the Polygon importer, go over into Polygon, materials and let's bring in maybe like these mosaic tiles right here and so the for the materials all you have to do is just select one of these materials in here um, or one of these maps in here i don't think it matters which one i just always select the color map but if i double click on this and bring it in, what that's going to do is that's gonna import that as a material inside of SketchUp as well as in V-Ray. And so if I click over here and I look for this, and in this case, we are looking for the tiles mosaic right here, but we're just gonna take this, we want to apply it to our selection, right? So we're just gonna right click, click on apply to selection. And so notice how when we do that, that's going to bring this in as a material inside of SketchUp. And so one of the cool things about this, again, is this comes in here and it actually sets up all the different materials and maps um, when we import this. And so what that's gonna do is that's automatically going to set up the material inside of SketchUp. And if you don't like this one and you wanna bring another one in, basically this is just automating that process, right? So I can really use any of these. And in this case, because I had a face selected, we can go ahead and click on yes, and it's going to apply that to this selection. So um, this is now set up where we can really quickly import those. And note that they all stay inside of your V-Ray asset library, meaning I can come in here and I can select them and then apply whatever I want, right? So I can go back and I can apply this. It's saving it as a V-Ray material inside of your scene. And so let's say you wanted to change the size of one of the materials that gets brought in. So the way this is set up is you can click on the little drop down next to the material that's created and you can see the different maps that are in here, right? Well, um, these are all going to share the same UV repeat in here. So what you can do is you can go into your texture placement and under your repeat UV, you can adjust this, right? So let's say I was to change this to 0.75. Um, and we want to go ahead and make sure this stays linked, but notice how we're able to change that mapping in here. So if I go to a 0.5, that tile is going to get even bigger, but all of your maps are going to adjust along with this, right? So if I click in here and I look at like my reflection or my gloss, um, notice how those are all changing with your UV mapping. So those all kind of change and update at the same time, making um, changes to these materials really easy. Now, one thing I will say about this is um, these materials are not setting up your displacement map. Um, so it's not automatically setting up displacement in here is automatically setting up the bump. So if you do want to set up the displacement, you're just going to have to add that to this material. I believe you can just add that as a new, um, I think you just add it as a new, yeah, as a new attribute. So you just come in here, you click on displacement, and then you would add and edit that, uh, and then you would add the map in there for displacement. And so if you are running on Mac, um, note that there is an issue where after importing models, you're going to have to run this uh, extensions, polygon, auto resolve paths. Um, basically what that's gonna do is that's going to set up the file paths properly for your materials. Um, apparently you only need to do this once after importing the model and then you're good to go, but I don't think it's doing this automatically. So just note there are some issues in here with Mac OS. 
So a couple things that are worth noting. First off, um, I believe, and I haven't been able to test this, but if you run this through V-Ray and you also have an Enscape license, um, the material should come through into Enscape setup as well. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to test that out on this machine yet, but that should work. So the other thing that's worth noting is all of these materials and models should work if you import them into like a twin motion or something like that, um, or another rendering program, you would just have to set up the maps manually. So this extension is specifically designed to automate that process for V-Ray, but you could use these assets in another rendering software. You just have to set them up manually. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Um, I feel like there's not a lot of support out there and a lot of these like asset um, libraries online. So it's nice to see this, even if it is just for V-Ray, I'm excited to see kind of where this can expand to in the future um, with SketchUp and other rendering engines. But it's nice to see something designed to really kind of make this process easier. But leave a comment below, let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.